Right, I've got to get this ceiling rose up on there. Shouldn't be too bad. Got a bit of a wooden raft in there, so we used joist in there to do that. We use that as one of the securing straws. Got a bracket here, and I've drilled an extra hole in it so I can position that over the over the tin. Right, a couple of holes, got my in, just get the other one up there. Put tighten up with the drill now, and we should be nearly there. Get these done, and another one in the wood there, and that'll be complete. Right, there we go, so we've got two through the plasterboard, and because these lights are quite heavy, I've gone one through into the wood there, so it gives us a nice good fixing up there. Fix on the uh, back of this lighting unit with these uh, Wago uh, fixings, so that's just a question of popping the wires in and flipping them down, and uh, we should be, jobs are good. Right, that's our wires nicely fitted, now we've got to do is run it up to the ceiling and screw it up into position. Right, yeah. that's the two ceiling roses put into position. Now we've got to do is to pop up the blobs. And as if by magic, one, is done and that's two and that's three now for the bulbs right so here they are both fitted now for the inaugural switch on and one two three there they are so there, there we is. have the job completed we've now put a dimmer on the circuit because they were quite bright before delighted with these beautiful Bertie lights from glow lighting